next news is I still don't have a button for this. <laughs> I don't know if you picked that up on the mic, but that was boom. Gunshot. <laughs> Here we were being. Backlog! 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 We're louder than the booms. Yeah. Guys, welcome to the backlog. This is part of the show where we. Uh, Pick a random game. You do it. You do uh, every it game time. we've ever bought has been put into an Excel spreadsheet uh, throughout our entire lives. Every game for every system we've ever owned. One Excel spreadsheet. And today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we've played it. What is the number that we're at? Uh, 964. Ooh. Went up one. And we are at 151. 151. Like Pokemon. Like Pokemon. Uh, it is not Pokemon. It is Vector Man for the Sega oh, Genesis. Okay. Yeah, baby. Often forgotten. Hell yeah. Vector Man. Hell yeah, Vector Man. Some of y'all are too young oh, for man. Vector you, Man. You, you, you Zoomers and Gen Alpha are in for a treat. This is the first one? First one. Yes. Okay. Which one's better? I don't know. Vector Man 2 gets no love. It doesn't. <laughs> But it was fine. It was good. It had Vector like, Man One was more iconic and yeah, like, I think and so. like wackier. Vector Man, Vector Man One... Two was a little ugly. <laughs> yeah. Vector Man Two reminds me a little bit of like Odd World, just the way that the the world was. was I wouldn't made. I don't know if I would give it that. Okay. You know. But here, Vector Man One. 1995 Sega Genesis. Vector Man One was awesome. It was a later entry into the Sega li Genesis library, but it was a it was a banger of a game. Great music, interesting character designs, good graphics for an aging 16-bit system. Yeah, it had like this weird 3D thing going on. What, yeah, uh, there was a lot of really cool attention to details. They don't show it here, but this little beginning openings. The second you turn the game on, you yeah. get the Sega logo, which every game had. But in this game, Vector Man's there, and you can move him around. Yeah. and there's like little Easter eggs. You can like shoot up, and then a little yeah. TV falls down. It was cool as shit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you play the game, and yeah. the game is very hard yes <laughs> there's some weird stupid story this is the game yeah it's this is a the part everybody knows oh uh epilepsy warning <laughs> yeah <laughs> this game's got a lot going on yeah it's a lot of like flashing imagery so if like if you're prone to like if you're sensitive to that stuff maybe just skip the backlog for this episode. yeah every time a th so the tvs are it's like sonic where the yeah. tvs have like power-ups and stuff but every time they blow up there's just flashing lights yeah. and shit it's a uh, it's a 2D side scrolling jump and shoot game. Uh, if you get different power ups and abilities, uh, the cool thing about Vector Man, as you can see on screen, is he's made of like all these different balls, and he can transform into different uh, devices, like a drill or a, a train set. At one point, a helicopter. Yes. What's cool about uh, the first game, at least from my memory, is every other level is dedicated to vector man as a non oh see here he transformed into a bomb and just blows up everything on screen yeah. every other level is dedicated to vector man as a non uh biped device like here's the first level he's he's just walking around but then the next level he's like a spaceship or whatnot i don't I remember I, the order of he immediately becomes a train after this. yeah well first of all you have to fight a helicopter yes which is, which is awesome yeah uh then immediately after that you're a train yeah. And, okay. and you're fighting this giant thing. Yeah. And uh, this is where I died every time. <laughs> yeah, uh, this was hard. Eventually, we got past it, though. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know if I've ever beaten this game. I've definitely never beaten this game. It's really, really hard. Yeah. We went through a phase where we uh, picked up a Game Genie and, like, went through all of the games that we yeah. couldn't beat. Um, yeah, because, you know, back then, you kind of had to. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely never beat this game. Yeah. Uh... I would get to about here um, at most and then uh, probably die. Yeah, and then same. Have to play the whole thing again. Uh, again, it is a very hard game. Yeah. Uh, you, there is like, you can change the difficulty of it. Uh, and well, oftentimes we would because we were, we were young and we were not ashamed. But like, even then, like, the, the game was like pretty brutal. No, it was impossible. Yeah. Uh, who made this game? Uh, f it was a first party Sega published game. The developer was Blue Sky Software. Okay. I'm trying to see what else they made aside from the two vector man. Is games. this Sega's answer to Mega Man? 
it was Sega's because it's answer. Jumping and shooting. I mean, it was Sega's answer to Donkey Kong Country. Oh, because of the graphics? Because of the graphics. Because uh, it had like those like pseudo 3D pre rendered graphics. Yeah, like and Vector Man's made of balls and he looks like he's like rendered in 3D, but yeah. really it's just JPEG. Which I, I guess kind of makes sense because like Donkey Kong Country was, you know, Donkey Kong's a Nintendo IAP from like the 80s and like Donkey Kong Country is very much in their wheelhouse of like, you know, family friendly 2D platformers. Vector Man is very much in the Sega Genesis wheelhouse where it's like this cool, edgy 90s, like extreme and he shoots kind of stuff. With yeah. Handgun. So, yeah, yeah, I remember really liking this game, even though never really got far at all. Yeah, uh, f- it did have good music. I do remember that. Yeah, it did. It was yeah. like it was like a like a really hard techno. Yeah. <laughs> like beat. Um. So yeah, I was a big fan of this. Uh, we had a lot of Genesis games. This was yeah. one of the ones we played the most. I would yeah. say. Uh, and then we also got Vector Man Two, which yes. was. Probably equally as hard. Uh, felt like there was more stuff to do in it. Uh, felt a little more forgiving. Uh, there was more uh, to explore in that game. But I felt this one had more charm to it. Yeah, this was definitely more... I think this one had more character. Yeah, this was definitely more iconic of the two, I would say. Um, the second is- one had like... the. It was like... W- the the levels were it, it felt gross there was like all this like weird yeah, organic like the, stuff the, going on the graphics were like a better from like a detail perspective but like it was also like much darker it was darker and like you were in the woods yeah and there were like these weird like ugly creatures and stuff and i didn't like it and yeah. there's a lot of bugs there's yeah. a lot of bug imagery and i didn't, I, I didn't yeah. like that this is like it's like technical and robot yeah i, I kind of like it um so I would say, if you have a chance, try Vector Man. Absolutely. Is it in the Sega Classics Collection? I think it is. It's on. I believe it's on the Sega Classics Collection, uh, the Genesis Classics Collection. It is not on Switch Online. It should be, but it's not. Now, is Vector Man 2 even playable anywhere? Uh, I believe so. Vector Man 2 was released on the Sonic Gems Collection in 2005. The Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection 2009 and the Genesis Mini 2. <laughs> okay. Not very easy to get your hands on Vector Man 2. No. Vector Man 1, you can get in the Sega Genesis uh, classic game. Yes. Not uh, the one on Nintendo Switch Online, the other one. Vector Man 1 is available on the Sonic Gems Collection, the Sega Genesis Collection from 2006, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Uh, it's available on Steam. Um, it is part of the Sega Forever service, which I believe is on iOS. So maybe you can play oh. Vector Man on your phone for free. I will look that up right Fizz now. Fizz Widgie says one and two are 99 cents on Steam. There you go. So that'd be cool if there's a ROM in there. Yeah. Some of, the, some of these Steam ports are just a, a ROM wrapped yeah. emulator. Vector Man is not available on iOS. Lame. Damn. Hey, thanks for watching the backlog, everybody. You should watch a podcast sometime if you're yeah. not already. If you are watching the podcast, stay tuned for more podcasts. If you're not, bye. Bye.